What the heck is a property survey? We'll stick around to find out. Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Samantha Perlman and I'm a realtor located in central New Jersey. Every week I post videos about what it's like to live and work here and guidance on buying, selling, and investing in the area. If this is something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button below and don't forget to hit the bell so you're notified of the new videos I release every Monday. This week we're talking all about property surveys. What is a property survey? Is it required when you purchase a home? And you really need one. A property survey is done to confirm all of your land boundaries. A survey will draw a map showing you exactly where the property line boundaries are in relationship to both the street and all of the surrounding properties. It'll also identify all the structures within the plot, including both the house itself and any other structures such as a shed. It will also show any of the other features or boundaries on a property such as patios, driveways, and fences. Now I'm gonna show you an example of a property survey map that one might get when purchasing a home here in New Jersey. You can see here, it's identified by the street here that the home is located on. It actually has a side street here. You've got the main dwelling structure. You've got driveways, patios, back patios, sidewalks. Here's the actual property line. And the great thing about this is that it actually gives you the exact measurement. So it'll tell you how far the house is from the fence how big um, of a space you have in terms of how long your driveway is. So this is really great because um, a lot of times if you're purchasing a home and they don't have fences or anything like that, you may not know exactly where your property line is. So you can actually measure it out. The other great thing about this is that it might be hard to see on this one, but it actually shows you where the fence is in relationship to your property line. So for example, in this one, the fence, is actually over here, this line, but the property line is over here. So in certain situations where you're purchasing a home, assuming that the fence is on the property line and that is the boundary of your yard, it may not actually be the case. In fact, in this particular situation, there's about a four, three and a half to four foot difference of where the fence is versus the actual property line. A property survey can also include things like right of ways and easements. So for example, if you have a shared driveway with your neighbor, it's important to understand exactly what part of the driveway is on each person's plot of land. It's important to understand if you have any easements on your property because it may determine what you can actually do with the property in terms of installing things like sheds, patios, decks, and fences. Now I've been asked before whether or not a property survey is required and I always believed that it was. I always believed that the mortgage lender required a property survey to be done so that it was very clear exactly how big the parcel of land was and exactly where the boundaries lie. However, I've recently discovered that it may not be required by your lender. So I suggest if you're in the process of purchasing a home, check with your real estate attorney or your realtor and find out if a property survey is going to be required in your process. Of course, if it's not required, I am still going to strongly suggest that you do get a property survey because that's the next question I get. Do I really need one and how much does it cost? Now the cost of a survey can really vary, but a national average is somewhere between $300 to $800. And I see typically in my area between about $500 and $700. And there's a few factors that go into the pricing such as uh, how difficult the surveyor has going you know, around the property and navigating around, how large the plot of land actually is, and whether or not you ask them to put stakes in the ground marking out exactly where your boundary lines are. The reason I'm gonna encourage that you get a property survey done, even if your lender or title company doesn't require it, is because part of purchasing a home is really purchasing the land that the home sits on. Once you make the purchase, even if the house gets totally demolished and isn't there, you still own the plot of land. Essentially, that is what you're buying. So it's important to understand exactly how big is that plot of land and where are the boundaries. Again, this goes back to the map example I gave you earlier where the fence wasn't actually the outline of the property, the property came in. So it's important to understand exactly what plot of land you're gonna own. The survey is there to help you protect your investment. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and say hello in the comment section below. And if you haven't already done so, go ahead and hit that subscribe button below and the bell so you don't miss the new videos I release every week. You know, my goal is to make the content that you're looking for, so if you have an idea for a future video, go ahead and leave it in the comment section below. And I'll see you next week. <laughs>